So Tom, let's start with an easy one. Uh, why do you think you should be the next Prime Minister of Canada? I think that I should be the next Prime Minister of Canada because I lead Canada's best party that's always worked in the public interest. We brought in, in Saskatchewan, as you know, free universal public medical care. We're going to be the ones to bring in cross-Canada childcare at maximum $15 a day. We believe that governments have a role in protecting the public instead of dismantling protections like railway inspections and meat inspections and medication inspections. We think that these are basic roles of government, but we also think that we should be working with the private sector to create the next generation of well-paid jobs. We've lost hundreds of thousands of manufacturing jobs that were well-paid. They're being replaced with part-time, precarious work in the service sector. So we think Canadians deserve better and that we can do just that. How uh, you've made a number of commitments already ahead of 2015. Uh, some of that will obviously require funding commitments. Um, how much revenue do you think you can get from raising corporate taxes? Is that going to be enough revenue? Or are you going to have to look elsewhere? Well, there are two, to, there are two streams, right? There's one that will be, as we've said before, getting Canada's corporations to start paying their fair share. Uh, we expect all Canadians to pay their fair share. Corporations benefit from everything that costs money in our society, but they're just not paying their fair share because the Conservatives have dropped their taxes by $50 billion. So we'll bring that back up to something closer to the G7 average, and yeah, that'll be fair for them and for, for other Canadian taxpayers. But at the same time, we're not going to have the same priorities as Mr. Harper. Um, you know, we have uh, C-17 galaxies, four of them, and they've just sort of popped up yesterday because th there was some money that they didn't want to uh, see lapse in the budget of defense, and they're just going to buy a fifth one. But nobody's even demonstrated the need for it. Uh, but this is the way they spend their money. Uh, actually, if it was their money, I guess we wouldn't mind, but it's actually taxpayers' money, and that's why we do have a different vision. We think that Canadians deserve a government that thinks of them first, that invests in the next generation of well-paid jobs, invests in a really good, strong, affordable, quality childcare system across the country. And yeah, we're going to bring in policies like a $15 an hour federal minimum wage and show the way, show leadership with the provinces and territories. We've got a bit of a sluggish economy at the moment. Is raising corporate taxes not going to contribute to further sluggishness? Look, it's an old saw that you can't touch corporate taxes. But if we were to put corporate tax rates closer to the G7, the countries that we trade with the most, come on, I mean, let's get serious. Canadian companies are being given such a free ride that even Mark Carney, the former governor of the Bank of Canada, had to admit that at the time, there was $700 billion in what he called dead money. And the reason that money was dead and not being reinvested is we weren't even using the fiscal levers to incent those companies to get that money moving. So they can just sit on all that dead cash and they're not sure what to do with it. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll give them an incentive to keep it moving in the Canadian economy. That's what a smart government does with the tax code. You can modify it in such a way that you're providing an incentive to spend that money and to keep it moving in the economy, something the Conservatives just don't believe in. One of the issues that came up uh, this week into focus was oil and gas regulations, yeah. uh, climate change and GHG emissions. Various ideas have been floated. Would $30 per tonne be too much, do you think? Would $40 per tonne be too much? Uh, for oil sand. These are subjects that I've worked on in great detail. I was there going back uh, to the COP9 in Milan. Of course, I was there in Montreal at the COP there. We're going to have to take the dossier in the shape it's in when we form government. We don't have enough information on where Canada is right now, and we're going to work hard. We're going to be at the table in Paris. We're going to make sure that we sign on to something. It'll be constraining, and we'll respect it. And then we'll make sure that we put in place a system to attain it. Cap and trade is the only way to ensure the result. A carbon tax can be an adjunct, some provinces are using that, but it can't produce the result in a guaranteed way the same way a cap and trade system was. We'll do, we'll do it, that's what we're going to be pushing for, and we'll get the results and we'll get it done. All right, thanks Tom. Thanks.